Salutations, Lab Fam. Yours truly, Simon A. And no one really grinds my gears. No, not Mickey Mouse, no. But what I am about to talk about does involve Mickey Mouse. And since Disney turned 100 years old earlier this month, and it's also still Halloween time, I figured now is the perfect time for me to talk about Mickey's House of Villains, a 2002 Disney direct-to-video Halloween movie that's based on the show Disney's House of Mouse. Now, if you've either been living under a rock or you did not grow up in the early 2000s like I did, House of Mouse is an old Disney cartoon where Mickey Mouse and the gang uh, run a nightclub called House of Mouse where a shit ton of Disney characters from the company's history come together to watch cartoons featuring Mickey and the gang. I mean, that's 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 pretty much it. Now, it, it's a show that I hold very near and dear to my heart because if my memory serves best, uh, that cartoon introduced me to characters like Mickey and Minnie and Dawn and Daisy and Goofy and Pluto. And, well, it's because of that that I knew about the characters and they, they grew on me ever since. And might I add, it should still be on Disney+. Plus. But besides the point, besides the point. Okay, so basically, you know, it, it's, it's Halloween night and of course Mickey and the gang are, you know, celebrating Halloween at the House of Mouse. But the villains have a trick up their sleeve to take over the House of Mouse, with Mickey and the gang being completely oblivious. And of course, in true House of Mouse-like fashion, they show a bunch of, like, shorts in between the plot segments, I guess. It's a mixture of, like, old shorts, like, you know, Trick or Treat and Lonesome Ghosts and stuff, to, like, the more modern shorts, like uh, Mickey's Mechanical House, How to Haunt, and my personal favorite, Hansel and Gretel. You'd think that the villains want to take over the house, like, right now, but they, Jafar keeps saying, Nah, we'll wait until midnight. But you'll all have to wait until midnight. Patience, Iago. Midnight nears. Because, you know, they have to find some excuse to, you know, show more shorts. But then eventually, after showing more shorts, then we get to probably what I think is the ultimate highlight of the movie. And the villains finally take over the House of Mouse. And how do they do it? With probably the most badass Disney villain song in the history of Disney villain songs. It's Our House Now. It's our house now. It's our house now. It's the fact you can't ignore. Shut the window. Lock the door. Like, I seriously mean it. That's like the whole... That's the ultimate highlight of the movie, because like, all you get to see a lot of Disney villains come together, take over the House of Mouse, and just like have a f have lots of fun and stuff. And but of course, uh, the villains also kick out Mickey and Minnie, and they claim the house for themselves. So, after that incredibly awesome Halloween musical number. What's the first thing the villains do once they've successfully taken over the House of Mouse and claim it for themselves? Nice try, Mickey. But you and Goofy, and especially that scary duck, are about to get a real fright. <laughs> they get back to showing more fucking Mickey Mouse cartoons. <laughs> cartoons featuring the same exact people who got their asses kicked out by them. It's... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's... <laughs> I don't know, it just sounds ridiculous. <laughs> it just sounds ridiculous, you know? I mean, come on, you have the House of Mouse to yourself. Why you gotta show more Mickey Mouse cartoons? Oh my god. There was a funny scene, though, where, uh, where Minnie got pissed and she thought that she could bring back the House of Mouse on, on her own. Of course, no, I've never seen her so mad. Oh, I have. I'm giving you and all the other villains just 30 seconds to turn this back into the House of Mouse. Starting right now. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. That, that, that was firstly funny. <laughs> but yeah, after showing two more shorts, uh, then here we come to like, I guess the climax of the movie where Mickey and the gang try to take back the House of Mouse from the villains. And what I think is another pretty badass moment is when Mickey does it, dressed as the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Like, dude went all Fantasia for this occasion. 
I think that was pretty cool. What wasn't cool though is what happened immediately after that. You'd think that you'd just give me like a big, big battle between the heroes and the villains. But it's not really. It's apparently between Jafar and Mickey. And their battle was less of a battle and more like a magical game of baseball. I mean, you have so much potential with this kind of thing, and that's how you make your battle. And then eventually Mickey gets his sorcerer's hat uh, knocked off his head. And apparently, instead of putting it back on, they think all hope is lost until suddenly Aladdin comes in, gives them the lamp, flies off. I mean, he only showed up for like one fucking second. Then apparently the rest of the villains, they just <laughs> run away like complete pussies or something. Jafar gets sucked back into the lamp because, you know, recreating the end of Aladdin. So yeah, basically after that, the uh, weak-ass, anticlimactic battle, I guess. The status quo has been maintained, and the House of Mouse goes back to being the House of Mouse. Mickey and the gang got it back. Minnie kisses Mickey. Okay, I'll admit, that's pretty fucking adorable. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it ends. I mean, it does show a lot of Halloween spirit, but plot-wise, it's very weak. Like, yeah, I mean, of course, like I said before, House of Mouse is basically a fancy clip show. It works as like a a 30 minute, you know, like a, a half hour TV show. But as a movie, I don't think so. I mean, you may think I'm being harsh on this movie, but as a friend of mine once said, if you market it as a movie, expect it to be criticized as a movie. Now, does this mean that I'm gonna stop watching it every year on Halloween? Hell no! It's always been a tradition for me to watch Mickey's House of Villains on Halloween night. Cause you know, I love Mickey Mouse. I love Halloween. It's a, yeah, I mean, it, it just makes sense for me. It's, it's a tradition. Even if it's not perfect, even if it's uh, weak in terms of plot, there's a lot I love about Mickey's House of Villains. The shorts, the music, the characters, of course. The big villain song, It's Our House Now. And just seeing Mickey and the gang together, it just brings me back to the, to the early 2000s. It's, it's, it may not be the best movie, but uh, it's still something that I can enjoy watching on Halloween. But I will recommend some Mickey Mouse Halloween specials that I think are really great in terms of plot, and they make great use of the characters too. The Scary Story Ever, a Mickey Mouse Halloween Spectacular, Mickey's A Tale of Two Witches, and the newest Mickey Mouse Halloween special that came out this year, Mickey and Friends Tricks or Treats. I personally really love that one because, one, the songs are literal fucking bangers. Two, the stop motion animation is incredible. And three, they bring back Witch Hazel, uh, you know, from the original Trick or Treat short. But, they make her the villain instead of Donald, and it's just, wow, I think you're gonna be blown away, because this is even, I don't think this is even meant to be just only for kids, because like, yeah, it's really good, I recommend it. But I guess it's safe to say that nobody knows how to Halloween better than Mickey Mouse and the gang. And that's what grinds my gears. Happy Halloween!